What's up? This is one of the most exciting announcements that I could ever make. It's one that I've dreamed of for many years, but I never thought it was actually possible. In fact, I almost gave up on it. And I push and I push and I don't give up. I was just about to throw in a towel on my goal, but then God had a different plan for me. So today, it is my greatest honor to be able to finally tell you that your boy, aka the Kingmaker, Chocolate Honey, Daddy Primetime, are making a reality TV show. I'm on TV! Oh, shit! Unfortunately, I can't go into all of the details yet, but rest assured that we've been hard at work and you'll be hearing more exciting news about that very soon. Before I go any further though, I wanna take a moment to thank a few people. Well, actually I wanna thank a lot of people, but if I took the time to name literally every single person that has helped me to get to where I am today, I'd be here all day. So let me just start off by saying to my family, thank you, to my beautiful wife, Keisha, thank you, to my three amazing kids, Cameron, Kyra, and Ethan, to my brother, Demoy, my sister, Dari, to my parents, thank you. Without you, this certainly would not be possible. And then to my entire Real Family team, all of the people that work with us on a daily basis. Thank you to my business partners, Francis, Brian, and Richard. Thank you. To everyone that has believed in me and supported me, thank you. I truly, truly appreciate you. And I'm even grateful for those who doubted me as well. I wanna thank you also. To my mentors along the way, my coaches, I wanna thank all of you for showing me the past. I also wanna thank the production company and the television network that I'm working with, the crew, and my amazing co-stars for making all of this even possible. Thank you. Now, while all of this is great, sometimes I still struggle with those little voices in my head. Get out of my head! Having committee meetings discussing if I am worthy. And sometimes I start to question myself if I'm even worthy to do this, if I'm worthy of this opportunity. After a few conversations with my coaches, my mentors, my dad, I've realized that this is my God-ordained assignment. God has a plan. And this is an opportunity to positively impact the lives of many who need it. And so I've started to build a new team just for this show. I've recruited an amazing team, starting with my good friend and Sam, who's been a friend and business associate over the years, to be the agent. Now, as an investor herself, she understands how investors think and how to structure deals. And when it comes to selling houses, well, let me tell you, she is damn good at it. She is a boss when it comes to real estate. Now, without a doubt, I had to have Sam on the team. Then my mentor and business partner, Rick Malero, introduced me to Amanda, who has also joined the team as our designer. Amanda is a genius when it comes to design, and you're gonna witness just how much of a genius as she really is. You will soon get to watch her do transformational miracles, transforming these ugly, nasty, disgusting houses into beautiful, sexy, gorgeous houses on a budget. We call this sexy on a budget. I also have my wife, Keisha, who's worked alongside me for many years, helping me to start and build businesses. She's helped me to organize and execute on all these crazy ideas and visions that I've had. Keisha is basically the real boss. Without her and her team members like Karen, well, a lot of what we're doing and trying to accomplish would just fall apart. As a project manager, Keisha is the glue that keeps all this together. She keeps the team together, she keeps the projects going, and she, she basically keeps all the moving pieces of the puzzle when it comes to renovating houses together. And she does it with elegance and grace, like the boss that she really is. Now, every day, I'm so grateful to be part of this, this amazing team, because this isn't just about me fulfilling a silly dream of being on TV. No, this is much bigger than that. It's about positively impacting the lives of others and showing anyone with the desire, drive, and vision that they can do this, that this is possible. Now, I'm not sure if I'm the perfect person to do this, but I am honored to accept the responsibility because here's the cold hard truth. Entrepreneurship, it's not easy. Now, while I've experienced lots of success over the years, I've also had many failures, so many failures. I've made lots of personal mistakes and I've even had people I've trusted betray me. I've had a lot of bad luck. Hell, even some of the most stubborn folks out there like Rocky Balboa, would have looked at me and said, come on, man, I think it's time you give it up. But nah, I didn't, and I never will. That's why I own my future today. All of the struggles, the challenges, the setbacks, the roadblocks, the costly mistakes, were all lessons I needed to mold me and nurture me and to prepare me for where I am today. And I wouldn't change any of the struggle that brought me to where I am right now. It reminds me of a phrase that my dad used to always tell me when I was growing up. The devil only attacks people who he sees as a threat. So every single day when I come across an obstacle, a roadblock, a letdown, or I get another kick in the teeth. It doesn't discourage me. It only shows me that I am on the right path. And so one of our main ambitions and goals with this project and TV show is a simple phrase we call attainable aspiration. We want to inspire people and show 
anybody that they can do this, that they can change their lives through real estate. Now this isn't gonna be some glamorized, highly edited and biased viewpoint where you only see the pretty side of being a real estate investor or entrepreneur. No, you're gonna see the inside operations of our real estate business, Real Capital. You're gonna see the nitty gritty, the down and dirty. You're gonna see everything. You're gonna see how we source deals, how we structure our deals, even how we fund the deals and a lot more. But you know what you won't see? You won't see one single damn reason why you can't have the same success, maybe even faster than us. You got no excuses anymore. So look, when I take a step back and I think about the road ahead, being on TV for millions of people across the country and the opportunity that comes with that, I'll be lying to you if I said I, I wasn't nervous. I wasn't a bit nervous. But the pressure, the pressure is a privilege. And being in this position is really, truly an honor. And I'm grateful for it. And I'm gonna make the most of it. Listen, the world is going crazier and crazier every time you take a look. Even if my voice is the only one in a sea of negativity, the time is right. I'm ready to use my voice along with my co-stars and our entire team to make a positive difference in the world. And so I wanna end by saying this, and it's really with a request. And it feels wrong for asking for something more even after you've already done so much to help me out, but here it is. With this TV show, we're gonna be flipping houses right here in the Tampa Bay market in Tampa, Florida and the surrounding area. And I wanna show the awesomeness and sexiness of Tampa through this process. But one mission that's very dear and near to my heart is to help support local businesses right here in Tampa Bay. Tampa is where everything started for me. Tampa is where I started my entrepreneurial journey. Tampa is where I started my real estate career. And so I want to give back to the city that has given my family and I so much. So if you or anyone you know is involved in any local real estate or housing company, I'm talking anything to do with AC, electrical, plumbing, roofing, painting, you name it, I want to talk to you. I'd love to work with you on renovating houses on this show. Houses that we'll be doing on the show that will give your company and business exposure to grow even more, attract new clients and customers to your business. And if you are a minority owned business and company, well, even better. I want everyone to be lifted up from this process. I want everyone to benefit from this new platform and opportunity that I've been given. I wanna bless everybody. Now, if you're a real estate agent and wholesaler, well, I wanna chat with you as well. We're looking for the ugliest, nastiest, most disgusting house that you might have in your pipeline so that we can transform it and make it sexy again on this show. Together, we're gonna show the entire country what the people of Tampa are really about. And finally, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching until the end. But trust me, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of Chocolate Honey in the near future. We'll be in touch. I'll share more details about this show when it gets closer to launch. And again, thank you so much for all of your support and we'll chat soon. Peace.